since I'm already setting up, might as well do one vlog or something. I had a topic that I wanted to talk about. I think I posted it on Instagram. I can't remember what's the topic. I miss vlogging. One of the many topics that I'm itching to do is studying versus working. Visiting versus living. My experience on directing and why I think the OP is not for me. Shooting your own script versus shooting a script. Study abroad versus locally. Okay. I think I want to talk about um, my experience on directing first because it's it's still kind of fresh in my mind and I don't know I, I feel like it's a good topic to start so every year for final project um, TF will produce six short film six minutes so I was um, privileged enough to be directing one of the script so the first process that we had to do was Basically, we read all the script that got chosen. We did have our goal on writing our own script. If it got chosen, then you be the producer. Uh, you can't direct your own film. Um, I was a bit angry that my script didn't got chosen. I know, I was just such a baby. But at the same time, it kind of gave me a good reason to because it's not my script, yeah? So I can direct. And I've never really... Uh, put much thoughts on directing because to be a director you have to kind of know a lot of things or at the very least of basic thing about each department and under you there be camera department and there's gaffer there's audio there's post-production there's editors there's set designer there's art department um, there's casting so there's so so many things that you kind of need to be on top of so I wasn't really put, I didn't really put um, a lot of thoughts in directing, mainly because uh, I, I don't think it's, okay, if, if someone feel that they can be a captain on a ship, yeah, um, at the same time, they have doubts. I'm pretty sure people who step up for that job, they have their fear, they get nervous, they have they have all this nerve and um, anxious and, and stuff in them. And either you control them or you show it to your crew. Um, and I was determined to suppress my feelings as much as I can. <laughs> the first thing that we did was um, to do a presentation. So we had a like kind of a meeting with our um, associate producer, which is um, the, the lecturers uh, to kind of tell them what you're interested in so being a person who is passionate about camera works um, I go into that meeting thinking that I'll DP one of the film um, there's a few script that jump uh, out and kind of get my interest um, one of it uh, being a script about a OCD person which kind of cool and intrigued me at the same time uh, mainly because I am obsessed with film that use um, lines kind of balance um, screen I, I just love it um, so I felt like with lines I can tell the story you know um, but at the same time I was I was I was just like okay fine when my lecturer asked me what story I said that one first and then I said I'll I'll do a presentation to DP um, and maybe try to DP other story uh, and then one of my lecturers said why don't you try directing and I just like I don't think so um, but when they suggest to me they were pretty persistent they told me that you should you should try you should try you should really put your name in so because of he kind of suggests to me to direct I then put my name to direct one of the most difficult story to tell mainly because it's a good story um, it got the heart and you know the theme and it kind of post-apocalyptic 
kind of difficult to set up the world but I was I was just I was just looking at the script and said to myself this will be so difficult but so good if it become great and then a week after that um, all the name were up there we got chosen to our crew um, position um, the lecture basically put you at where you are best at um, and then yeah I was chosen to direct Dusk it kind of have all the element I wouldn't say that this is this script was so perfect I wouldn't say that because at this level we are just student and so student bound to make mistake we I mean me and all all the crew members sit down and we talk about the story we talk about the theme the the what makes this story move forward and stuff I am the luckiest person to be able to work with such passionate people about this project um I guess as crew member you you just want to you know get the job done but at the same time if you kind of include them with the story you make them feel that they are part of the storytelling they they will give you more we have meeting every every other day uh, just to touch base and see where what's the progress we did the story development me and the DP sits um, and talk about camera shots and lines and you know basically setting up the world I guess everybody have their own technique there's no point of a person who have encyclopedia of filmmaking um, if you know about every single um, film formula and that you study and you from what you've watched and what you read as a filmmaker if you just use that I feel like they are losing their own voice watching anything that have high value production because I'm afraid that I will copy them I will try and um, do kind of the same or kind of because I, I want I want to do what feels right you know what what makes me feel something and so every single scene every single line um, put in what I want what's the look and feel what line can I use in this situation um, so it was great um, I had people building a wall um, to cover the window I, when I first saw in my head I was it would be great if we have a, a plank of wood that goes across so that when the light from outside you can see kind of a line of um, like plank put together and it's it even um, say in the script that the lady look out the window so putting a plank there was just another step of me using and utilizing the the line and I had crew members that built the freaking new window for me and it was it was great because people people want to see that the film um, be at its best and so people were putting extra work extra hours and you know work really really hard on it and I was pretty lucky to have everyone on, on set um, during production and casting um, casting process was was I guess the most difficult um, for a director's job mainly because you have to sit through all the uncomfortable encounter with people that you've never met before um, I am a type of person that will try to make you laugh to kind of break the ice um, and so because this audition is a, a there's a child yeah uh, there's a kid in this story and so it's I don't know how to talk to kids I don't know how what is appropriate and what is not so I the first audition with kids was oh horrendous <clears throat> it was I was so freaking nervous that the kid just doesn't have any confidence you can see it through him he, he was just like I will not give you a hundred percent I will not give you anything because you are not confident and so I didn't sleep that night and then but the next day my producer was just like he told me I you know you'll be okay blah 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 and then he had uh, a few set of kids 
and the more I do it, the more confident I get and the more comfortable I get and the more relaxed I get. And then we found a, a boy. Oh, he is adorable. He is so, so sweet and he react. He know his lines. He cooperate. He, when I redirect him, he do it. You know, sometimes some people cannot be redirected and especially for kids. Um, and then I found him and then I found the mum who kind of have the same look because the boy is um, he's in, part Indonesian. And then I found an, uh, the mum that is also part, of, part Asia. So the both of them look similar, which is great. You know, you don't really get that a lot when you cast someone that looks the same and play the parts. During production, the first day, I was giggling the whole time. I was doing the work. At the same time, I was giggling like a goat. The lecturer was so annoyed with me that they pulled me aside and said, Ayn, you're having so much fun. There's something wrong. I'm like, no, I'm not having, you know, I, I think it was just the giggling uh, that did me. The first day, I was just... I was just so nervous that I, I start giggling. Uh, we plan too many cameras set up. By lunchtime, we know that we are over and we don't have the time. And so me and the DP kind of sit down and then say that, okay, for coverage, let's just do coverage. We on top of our game again. And then the next, the second day was the whole crew was so chill. The first, the first day, me and the DP was giggling and we were so chill, but everyone else was stressed. You know, you can feel the energy. On the second day, we were stressed and all of all of them were chill. Maybe because the fact that they think that, oh, they know what they're doing. But at the same time, on the second day, I realized that we've crossed action line, continuity were fucked. I was. I didn't do enough coverage. I didn't have cutaways. I was, oh my God. On the second day, the ed what the editor did was amazing. He is amazing. He, in the morning, in the car, he just showed me, he said, this is what you fucked up. This is what you need to fix today. So he lists things down for me to reshoot on second day itself. And so because of that, I kind of have, um, a better idea of how to shoot during second day and because of that I was so stressed because I know I have a lot to do and it was fantastic because every single time that I do a scene end of that I would just sit with my editor give me five minutes I need my silent moment he will read to me the script again and he will ask me have you done that have you done this have you done this this is the list that we need to accomplish this is the list that we need to do have you get everything so and then we work so well together me and the dp and the editor we just talk to each other communicate oh my god communication that is the key to filmmaking you if you have an unnecessary comment shut the fuck up i'm not even kidding your unnecessary comment would just make people on the edge if you have nothing to say just shut up just stand in one corner and just don't say anything. And yeah, it was it was it was nice the fact that everyone know what they're doing. Um very, very helpful. Um emotional oh my god, emotionally I was I, I needed emotional I needed emotional support so much during production and I was so very lucky to have people around me who keep asking me checking on me it was something that if i ever go on a film set after this and if i ever directed anything i would want to have those kind of people on my film set because emotional support is very important um as as a, a new filmmakers we don't know what we will do wrong or what we will do right uh we just do what feels right and sometimes you're feeling, you know, it's not always right. And I realized in post-production that basically we have three different scripts. The script that we wrote, the script that we shoot, and the script that we assemble. And it is three different story structure. Um, sometimes there's things happen on production that you cannot shoot or you... 
you can't do anything you know sometimes you want something and you, you plan for it and it just doesn't happen and you just have to let go and move on i enjoy it i i think you know when people say that you found your your true talent i'm not there yet i haven't figured it out yet but directing is i feel calm but nervous at the same time the great thing about my team was every time that I ang I was angry or I was upset or I was nervous, they just tell me to get out, um, breathe, drink, get your water, get, you know, drink your tea, do whatever, take a moment and come back. And because of that process, I kind of calm myself down. And breathing technique, you will. I always tell the actor to breathe. Uh, I say, it, I always say, it, okay, two breathing, then deliver your line. Two bre breathing kind of calm your your nerve a, a lot. And I think uh, with breathing, you you and your crew when they're nervous, um, it it definitely helps. Like I said, I I haven't figured it out, but it's something that I would consider um, learning more um, it's a lot of people say that directing is like a chill job when it comes to um, filmmaking because camera work or lighting or audio or anything it's it also use a lot of um, physical energy directing you don't really have to lift a finger everything is done for you directing also teaches you um, about human behavior it's um, it's it's very it's it's something that it's not easy I wouldn't say it's easy there's a lot of brain there's a lot of thinking and feeling and you know putting your emotion and stuff uh, out there but it was great because of that I now feel like the OP is not for me because the way I look at the DP that I was working with his preparation his knowledge of the camera itself is just I I don't even know half of it I'm not that good um, and so I think that you know I can learn to be the DOP for fun but not to do it because I feel like I know more my knowledge and my emotion can contain directing more than DP. I am very big on performance. I wanted to do DP because, you know, I, I said it in my last, my, my, I think one of the vlog I did before that because I enjoyed the performance. I'm the first person who received that performance and I was wrong. The lens captured it. Yes, the DP get it. But that visual is actually from director. And if you are into performance, you are definitely, definitely a director. Um, other than that, the experience was enjoyable. I had a lot of fun. I, um, yeah, my crew member was, um, a dream to work with. And I, I, I believe that all of them will go far. I believe that they will one day, you know, they will be the people who one day I'll tell my grandchildren that, hey, that person, I used to go to school with them. Um, I'm a very proud um, to have them as, as, um, as part of the crew. And I seriously hope that they enjoy this experience as, as much as I do. Um, and that, so that's my experience on directing Dusk, the short film. Um, it will be screened on... Um, I'm, I'm, I'm 27 of November that is when I graduate and so it's like my birthday is on 26th of November which is the day before the screening and on the screening I feel like you know the best present one could give herself is actually a film so my present for myself this year is definitely a finished film that um gonna be screened on a cinema and our family and friends are gonna watch it our lecturers the people from the industry and yeah hopefully that this experience and this story will 
kind of give us that extra miles um, in pursuing our dreams. And thank you for watching. See you soon.